Let's talk about Ashlight, a new instrument that Native Instruments just released. I composed a short composition just to demonstrate how this thing sounds. Accompanying this composition is far light, stray light, piano colors, and a couple of percussion elements just to just to help the composition along the way. Let's dive into it. Alright, so basically what I did was I took Ash Light and I pretty much filled this thing up. So all together in this one instance of contact, I have what? I have almost the full 16. I have actually 15 inst well 15 instruments with within this this one instance of contact overall. So, like I said before, Ash Light is in here. Far Light is in here. We got Stray Light in here. Ash Light is in here maybe let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, yeah, it's in here about nine times. And so, just breaking things apart. So, this first thing right here. If I solo this here, this one is the Zenith, and I really didn't make any changes. All I did was change the X Y pad, you know, to move it down here. I just liked how it sound, and that's what we came up with. And then the second sound is coming from Ash Light. This is the She Is Lying preset. 
Yeah. He's got this guitarish type vibe. It's kind of cool. And then right after that, came in with a with a drone. And this is also Ash Light. This is the gut feeling. And you hear how it sounds over time. It kind of changes to something. Just laying on that one note. It's kind of cool. I have really did not I did not even I didn't change anything Just straight straight from the preset and then this sound here it's gonna come in this is also coming from the ash light this is the Cornish felt Again, didn't change anything. Let's go back here. This is the part where I added the percussion elements in here. This is the toy kit from the Symphony series. Wood block. That's all that is. And this here, this little symbol, like a bowl just on the edge of a symbol or something like that, is what it sounds like to me. And it fit perfectly. It was actually on key. And it, it just. It just fit. It's also in the Symphony series. So, if I unsolo everything, yeah, really cool, really cool vibes. All right, and then towards the end is when we got. A little bit more help. This sound is coming from Ashlight as well. This is the simple life. All right, let's go back there and then. Okay, so the, the bell-like sound is coming from the crystal balls. It's also an ash like. And if we come back here. The sound that's kind of... The bass sound that's kind of coming underneath it. Like a... A rhythm type vibe is the Shimmering Rebellion. It's also Ash Light. So that's what we, we got going on right there. And then for this one. So this time we got a little help from Piano Colors. Kind of give us that, that, uh, that bottom grit, you know. This is the Awakening preset. Once again, 
I didn't change any of the sounds. The sound came in and it sounded wonderful. So we just let it ride just like that. And then this other sound here. That's my symbol. It's coming from the symbol preset in the symphony series. So that's what that is. And then this one section right here where you heard the vocal. This one is actually far light. Let's see if I can find that. Let me start condensing these things. This is the life out of balance preset. Farlight is pretty dope. Far, Farlight is the business. And then this sound right here. This one was actually coming out of Stray Light. So in these type of instruments, it's like two different sounds that's coming in simultaneously. They are doing something pretty unique and it complements it itself. If you want to decrease one sound versus the other, you can definitely do that here. As soon as you move this XY pad around, the sound will change. It could give you different different alternatives, which is what Ashlight is. It's just it's a part of the family. If you guys are familiar with the stray light and the far light, Ashlight is the same concept pretty much. So Now, maybe I can use my last 16, <laughs> 16 MIDI insert and grab Ash like one more again. Throw that in there right quick. And we can go through some of the presets just to kind of give you a overall experience of what's actually in here. So I'm going to tell Studio One to link me to the last 16. All right. All right, so if we go into the presets, we can see that we have quite a bit. Right here at the top, you can choose between abuse of confidence or case of prodigy. I have no idea what that means, but you have two sets of presets, so 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 to speak, or two different categories. So um case of prodigy, I'm noticing yeah, everything is pretty much different. So there's no no same preset. All right. So bas basically, that's a crypto crypto cryptography. <laughs> Sickening. Quiet now.
So what's really cool is they have this XY pad right here just so we can kind of get a quick, quick access to changing the sound. Instead of flipping back and forth like this. You know what I mean? So then you have these other knobs, right? You can go ahead and tailor the sound to your liking. Let's turn this one down. Let's turn this one back up. It's like a like a noisy situation here. Mollet noises. can hardly hear it but it's there yeah really cool really cool so then you have these other pages you can click to to further customize the sound And we still have the XY. I love that they did that. And I'm using my Adam SQ, by the way, to trigger these sounds. So there's a random button here. Um, the ideas are just flowing. Like that's what I did, guys. I I just allowed the instrument to t to speak to me, and I just went in and you know came up with something. So as your sample, and then your master, so you can play with the filter and change these sections from filter to e. EQ so you need more highs no problem take out the lows dynamic section here if you need saturation or compression by all means, you know, it's all here. Let's go back to some more presets right quick. Yeah, it's really cool. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Stuff is crazy. Yeah, this stuff is crazy. You guys just have to play around. <laughs> it's just it's just so many to play around with and get ideas. Piano sounds really good. So say you like that piano, you know. What I would do is just turn down either one of these sides, you know what I mean? So I do feel like the grain is a little too much. You know what I mean? It's, you know, just get in and... Man. Just make it happen. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much Ash Light, and Far Light works the same way, you know. Uh, Stray Light works the same exact way. These are great tools for uh, composing for orchestral, and I would say, I think these are also great for pop music, EDM, trap, you know, all genres because there's actually something in here for everybody. To be honest with you. However, this is kind of a, you know, a thing that you will probably pull out when you trying to do something for film and you need the atmospheric type stuff. But I'm telling you, I've I pulled this thing out and use it on a pop record and just went in and just kind of tweak it to my liking and made it work. So, you know. It just depends on how you you look at it, but this is really dope. Um, I love I love this. I hope that you enjoy what I was able to show you. I hope you enjoyed the composition that I came up with. It's different. I like it a lot. I might release it. I don't know, or if someone wants to buy it, I can. You know, we can have a conversation. <laughs> Other than that, I have courses available on the website creativeu.art. Please visit the website. Thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. We go live almost every day of the week, which is why you should be subscribed. And we start production, music production, all the way from scratch. And we come up with something pretty cool. If you feel compelled enough that you need this in your arsenal, the link is in the description. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps me out here on the channel. I appreciate you. My name is Ella, Creative Sound, Creative University. Remember. Music is art, you're the artist, paint your picture, stay creative without rules. <laughs>